Today is a storm team alert day with the potential of strong to severe thunderstorms on the way later this afternoon. We are still dry across central North Carolina right now. Some showers to our northwest, straight out to our west, and we're watching South Carolina and Georgia. Just seeing a few radar freckles developing there, the last few frames of the radar loop, but that's where some storms are going to take shape. Some of those are going to track up into central North Carolina as we head towards this evening. Let's switch over to the future radar view. It's got a good handle on the current situation. It shows some spotty thunderstorms developing by late afternoon. This isn't the main event, but any of these storms are going to be developing in a hot, humid, unstable air mass, so any of these individual storms could potentially become severe. We're looking at a greater threat of more widespread damaging weather if those storms reach severe limits moving in by this evening. This particular forecast model thinks that the most widespread activity is going to be between 6 and 8 o'clock. That's flexible. This is one version of one forecast model, so it could be a little earlier, a little later, farther north, farther south, you get the idea. But it's got a good handle on the type of severe weather that we're concerned about. See how this storm line kind of bows out here. That indicates a strong straight line wind th threat. We could be looking at what damaging wind gusts over 70 miles an hour with the strongest thunderstorms as they track through this evening. Large hail, still a possibility. It's very heavy rainfall could lead to some localized flash flooding as well. Those storms move through quickly. By 10 o'clock, they're largely moving off the coastal plain and out of here entirely as we get towards midnight. It's an enhanced risk of severe weather. This is level three out of five on the Storm Prediction Center scale, which means it's a significant threat. It includes every square inch of central North Carolina and southern Virginia. Damaging winds, the main concern. Localized flooding and large hail next on the list. Isolated tornadoes can't be ruled out. It is not the primary concern this time around, but we will keep an eye on every storm that develops, especially with those more separated thunderstorms that initially pop up because they can interact with each other and sometimes that spins something up unexpectedly. Just stay weather aware as we head towards late afternoon and early evening. In the short term, it's just going to be hot for the rest of the afternoon. We see some clouds building back in over the triangle, kind of off and on throughout the first part of the day. Those clouds are eventually going to billow up into full-fledged showers and storms, but not yet. A lot of blue sky overhead hazy blue because of the humidity. 86 degrees at Carter-Finley Stadium. It's 88 degrees in Smithfield. Other temperatures are running in the upper 80s and even low 90s. 92 Fayetteville, 90 in Rayford and Pinehurst. These are the air temperatures. You factor in the humidity. Here's what it really feels like. 93 in Raleigh and Durham. 103 right now for that heat index in Rayford and off the coast to triple digit territory already in Fayetteville. Air temperatures will warm up to the low 90s. That's hot and there's plenty of humidity and that makes the air near the ground very unstable. So just a little something to get those air parcels to rise up is going to allow them to explosively develop into showers and thunderstorms with some of the showers lingering farther into the evening, but gone by midnight in all likelihood. Tomorrow we dry out. It's the only day in the seven day forecast that I'm confident saying it's not going to rain. The humidity will take a one day break as well. We get that lack of humidity to stick around into Friday night and then it's back over the weekend. Had to bump up those rain chances just a little bit for Saturday and Sunday. We could see some areas of storms trying to make a run towards us from the northwest, but that is a notoriously fickle weather pattern to try to pin down. Back into the 90s next week, first full week of summertime, we'll feel every bit of it. Ooh, 